Hey Cable Hawks, I'm standing outside the pin box of my Grand Design Momento 395. This is a big fifth wheel. We picked this thing up uh, probably close to 18 months ago now. I was very intimidated and I'll be honest with you, very scared the first time I've hooked up to this thing and a few times after that. This is a big unit. You definitely don't want to do any damage to your fifth wheel, your, your hitch, your camper, your truck, or anything else. So before we get started, please set that little yellow caution sign down below. Subscribe to the channel. Give this thing a big thumbs up if you find it informative. And let's get started. All right, concerning new campers, if this is your first time with a fifth wheel, hopefully you'll find this thing informative. Rule number one is to take it slow. There are a lot of new RVers across this country now due to COVID and the shutdown and the want and the need to get out. RVing is a great way to do it. We love the RV lifestyle. So much so we called ourselves the Campaholics because we are intoxicated with camping. Today I'm going to show you how to hook up your fifth wheel hitch, how we do it, how it works for us, and the steps you take to get it done. We use a Lipper One Touch control system, which may not apply in your scenario, but the basic steps are pretty much still the same. So let's go. I'm Missy. I'm Mike. And we're the Campaholics! One of the biggest tips I can give you, especially if you have a rear backup camera, put yourself a piece of duct tape. I center this duct tape on this hitch. So when I back the truck it up, I'll show you here in a second. That line in my rear view camera display on the truck lines right up with this. It's easy to see because you have all this black here. This will help you line up to your fifth wheel hitch and or your gooseneck or whatever you may be doing in your pickup truck so that's my pro tip put a little piece of tape right here so you can line yourself up nice and center here we go i'll show you that all right when you're ready to hitch up using the lippard one touch control system it's real simple this will retract everything up and put you in position to the original height that you unhitched your truck using the lippard one touch control system to wake this up simply push your up and down you have a green light come on and you push hitch tight. Turn to the last position you had when you unhitched. All right, once that has cycled through, your jacks are turned up to the position where you unhitched. You now have your hitch height ready to run your truck into the back of this. <laughs> Figuratively speaking, run your truck into the, or your hitch into the uh, pin box and it should line up pretty darn close. Let's try it out. In the event your hitch is not lined up with the pin box, you can always move this up or down to adjust your height of the hitch to fine tune it to get it to lay correctly in your fifth wheel hitch. Real simple to do. So for example, if you're in a park, and of course you're not dealing with an asphalt base, this will sink of course over time in the dirt as the weight of it carries. So therefore your pin or your hitch height will not be the same as when you left it. So therefore you might have to make the adjustments to go up or down to get to your hitch height so you can properly hitch up to your truck. Now. Let's get this thing hitched up. All right, looking into the back of my truck, we use the Kurt Q24 as our fifth wheel hitch. Uh, you can shop this, shop that from our Amazon shop. I'll post a link below. We've had this hitch for now 15 months. Works great. Don't have a problem with it. No complaints. Uh, it's real dependable, and I like it. So your first step, and I'm ready to prepare, is to put the tailgate down as your pin will go into the fifth wheel. All right, our hitch is way over here. Our truck is at an angle. I'm gonna back it up. I'm gonna focus the uh, 450 camera with the digital line, center line, to this white piece of tape. Show you how that's done. 
All right, I don't know if you can see it or not, but right here is the uh, line that we're going to use that it tells you the center of the truck and where you're heading for and where you're backing up. So we'll see if I get lucky on the first round. But notice I'm using this line right here and it is on my strip of tape. And I'm using nothing but the camera to back this baby up right now just to show you as an example. And bingo, I'm pretty much on it. Now from this point on, I will go ahead, look over my shoulder, and you can see back there, and as you can see back there, it's pretty lined up. All right, as we back up here, I'm going to unlock that. So when the hitch, when the fifth wheel pin slams into the hitch, it'll automatically lock in place. All right, as you can see, that was pretty darn close. We didn't have to move, maneuver this up or down at all in any way. It locked right into place. We've got a green light here on our couplers indicating that we're good to go, we're locked in. I'm gonna flip this locking lever over. Put my safety pin in. And we're all hitched up. There are several safety checks you will do before you pull out of this campground. And I'll show you how we do it. All right, after you're hitched up, you're going to plug, plug in. On the 450, it happens to be right here. You plug in your light controller, and then you plug on your breakaway cable. You can go here. I happen to go there. There's less tension on it. It just works for me. Now that we're hooked up, let's talk about clearance. Make sure you have enough clearance on the height of your hitch to give you a good six inches because you don't want to damage your truck and or your fifth wheel all right after you're all plugged in you got your power to your your lights plugged in you got your e-brake plugged in or hooked to you're going to make you're going to go ahead and put the jacks up on your fifth wheel and prepare to pull away now this is going to be interesting you're going to hear lots of noises pops cracks creaks as the weight of the fifth wheel goes down on your truck but this is how we do it. But one important step you must do, ensure your wheel chocks are in place before you do this. Again, if there's an incident where it may not be fully hitched, it won't whirl off the truck, collapsing, causing big damage to your truck. Always make sure your wheel chocks are on. These are the last things you remove and the first things you put down. All right, if your unit comes with a lever one-touch control system, again, to wake it up, because it has timed out, hit your up and down button. It is awake, and then you're going to retract all and listen to the noise as your pin box comes down onto the hitch. All right, we're going to hit retract all. All right, our fifth wheel is fully retracted. All the jacks stand, all the jacks are up. The wheels are still chalked. The pin box did not fall out of the hitch. That's a plus. So our jacks are in place. We are hooked up. We're going to close this tailgate after observing the hookup. Now that we're all hooked up, we're going to do what we call a tug test. And I'll show you how that goes. But a tug test will Emphasize the importance of your brakes to make sure they are working on the trailer. You want to activate your trailer brakes, put your truck in drive, attempt to drive off. Your trailer brakes will hopefully lock it and you will not fall out of your fifth wheel hitch. A tug test. This is how we do it. All right, in preparation for the tug test, what you're going to do is you're going to put your front jacks down. By the way, this means you want the nose of the fifth wheel to go up and or down. It's not what you think it is. You push this down button thinking the jacks will come down, that's not the case. This is, means the front of the unit's gonna go up. So that one on that side is our primary jack, the passenger side. So we're gonna put that jack down. 
and then the second one will come down and what we're going to do is stop just before it hits the ground we have maybe three-eighths of an inch gap there then we're going to we're going to hit the up button for the thing to go up that's our primary jack we're going to raise that just enough to be like this one maybe three-eighths of an inch to half an inch up the reason for that is the reason for that is is we're going to tug this thing we're going to give this thing a little jolt to make sure that fifth wheel hitch is locked in worst case scenario if it's not locked in the fifth wheel will fall an eighth three quarters half inch whatever it may be therefore not crushing your truck and this will ensure that you are properly hooked up so let's give it a tug test all right before we tug test once again we're going to ensure that it's locked in place i bought this step from e-trailer and i'll see if we have it on our amazon store it's so new still haven't taken the packages off it wraps around the uh, tire uh, it's got a nice diamond plate like type grid type step to it uh, weather resistant of course and weather falls through it it's real tough anti-slip surface so i bought this to get me up over the fifth wheel and once again i'm going before we do our tug test i want to visually check this make sure everything is in place we're locked in we've got a green light this is locked over our safety pins in we're hitched up and we're checking all the connections before we go all right let's go inside the truck start her up and give it a tug test we'll put the truck in drive grab our trailer brakes and we're going to tug on the unit we got some movement the wheels are moving until they lock up now the trailer has got me locked up we're not moving it did not fall off the fifth wheel hitch that's a great thing if it did fall off the fifth wheel hitch it would only fall that half inch max because our jacks are down ready to catch it in the event of a catastrophe and it does not crush the truck so we're good to go let go of the brakes put it in a park and go ahead and remove our wheel chalks and we're ready to roll all right once you've done your tug test and you know everything's good to go everything's safe nothing fell on the bed of the pickup truck your tailgate is up you're locked in you're ready to roll you're going to remove your wheel chalks and you're going to put your front jacks up and after your front jacks go up you know you can unhook your shore power if you still have it in place to save on your batteries what have you but you are ready to leave the campsite and hit the road all right camp hawks you got your new fifth wheel backed into your site you're all ready to rock and roll you're ready to unhook enjoy your week in the camping and your brand new unit rule number one wheel chalks we're going to take our wheel chalks and we're going to place them on a tire doesn't matter really which tire i happen to use the driver's side because that's the side I'm on. And we're going to chalk the tires. Make sure your, your wheel chalks are adequate for the size of your unit. And I'm going to chalk both sides of the tire, the front and rear side of the tire. So in case I happen to still be hooked up and pull it forward, uh, there's no accidents and vice versa. Uh, when I unhook, it doesn't go backwards on me and there's no accidents. So your step number one is make sure your wheel chalks are in place. All right, now you're ready to unhook. You're going to use your level up one control system or whatever system you may, may have. But after you chalk your wheels, rule number two, drop your tailgate so you do not forget about this. Drop your tailgate so you do not forget about that and have a smashed up tailgate as you drive away with the pin striking the tailgate. So put your tailgate down. So again, you got your, your wheels are chalked. You've dropped your tailgate. All right, now you're about ready to unhitch. So you, you got your wheel chocks in, you've dropped your tailgate. You're going to your level one touch control system. You're going to hit the up button because you want to jack the unit up. 
Your jacks are going to come down. Again, our unit is the passenger side jack comes down first. That's the primary jack as always. So it's going to come down until it meets resistance and the hydraulic system is going to put the second jack down. Now, this is the interesting part. You're going to unhook your power and you're going to unhook your breakaway cable. I lock them in place so they're always together. And you're going to make, want to make sure that this is somehow, some way, laying in the middle of the bed so when you pull away, nothing gets tangled up. This is how I do it. When I pull away, it just drops down to the ground and nothing gets hooked up, ripped off, or tear, torn up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to jack the front of the camper up like I just showed you. I'm putting the jacks down and we're going to break the seal, so to speak, on our fifth wheel. So you'll see this thing rise up slowly and once the tension comes off that fifth wheel hitch, that means you're ready to unhook it. And I'll show you here. As you bring the unit up, you'll see the resistance come off the hitch. Bam, right there. So that hitch is freed up, ready to unhook. There is no longer weight sitting on that hitch. All right, on this Kirk Q24, I just take my safety pin out, I unhook the hitch, I pull my coupler, and sometimes it won't come unhooked. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back the truck up just ever so slightly to take the pressure off this pin. The pressure is off the plate, she's rose, it has risen up enough. Now we just got to get the pressure off the locking pin. I'll show you that. All right, hopefully that's all we have to do. Bam, now we're unhooked. We lock our pin over. That prevents it from locking again. We are officially unhitched from this truck and all we have to do is drive away. Now, when you drive away, you're gonna drive away nice and slow. The key about this whole process is to go slow. We don't want to tear anything up. Our front jacks are down, therefore it's not gonna fall on our tailgate or on our bed rails. Our tailgate is down, our power plug is out of the way. We are ready to unhitch. The wheels are chalked, the front landing jacks are down. So let's try to unhitch. All right, now you've successfully unhitched your fifth wheel from your hitch in your truck. No damage done. You did all the proper steps. You did it slowly. So this is unhitched now. Now we need to level up. Notice this is out of the way. Again, it fell right out of the truck. No damage to it. We're going to tuck it in up here. For the duration of our trip. Now again, your wheel chocks are on. This is your hitch height. So the next time we hook up, we're going to just simply hook hitch height. This unit will drop back to this original position. But for now, we're going to hit auto level and watch this thing go. Now once the unit has leveled itself out, this flashing green will go to a solid green as it's still in making its maneuvers to get things level. And bam, the unit is level. You're ready to put the slides out and enjoy the weekend. All right, Cable Hawks, I hope you found this information to be informative on how to hook up and unhook your fifth wheel hitch, your fifth wheel camper to your hitch in the back of your truck. Again, this is how we do it. This may not apply to your scenario, 
but the basics are there as far as wheel chalking, tailgate down, hooking up, tug test. Take it slow and you shouldn't have any problems. You shouldn't have any damage. Once you start speeding stuff up, you're going to forget a step and therefore that's when damage happens. Go slow. And another thing in regarding campground etiquette, if you see somebody hitching up or unhitching and you want to ask them for help, that's fine. If they decline, please leave them alone. So for example, I do not like to be talked to when I'm hooking and unhooking. I'm in my zone. I don't want anybody distracting me. Now, if somebody wants to help me back up, but generally I have my wife and we use walkie talkies to back up. But when I'm hooking and unhooking, I have it in my head what I have to do and I don't like to be distracted. It can result in some serious damage. So, take it slow. Take it from me. Take it nice and slow. Go easy. Please subscribe to the channel. Click the link below. Give this thing a big thumbs up. Hit the bell for future notifications. I'll post a link below to the information I have in here about the hitch. If you're interested in buying a hitch or something like that, we do have an Amazon shop, the Campaholic store, and there'll be a link below to that also. This little piece of tape right here has saved me a lot of headache. Hopefully, this will work for you. Thanks. Bye-bye.